Hello Leo, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this week. What does the universe want you to know this week? I'll be using the Celtic Cross spread. And just ask here, what is important for you guys to know this week? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I've already uploaded the monthlies, so I'm going to try to keep up with the weeklies. What is important, please, for Leo... To know this week leo sun moon rising venus one more we have a wish fulfillment here okay let's see four of pentacles the ace of wands something that you have kept to yourself for a long time it looks like now it's a starting point but we'll see there you are with that mars in leo seven of wands energy the ten of cups the four of swords the devil in the past the ace of cups the two of wands the page of cups the knight of pentacles the ace of swords and the three of cups not a lot of major arcanas. The major arcana is in the past. So I feel like this week for you is realizing many things. Of course, we're going to go one by one. But to me, it's all about starting things, making decisions, looking at, you know, a vision long term, planning here. It's, it's, it's those daily, I don't want to say mundane things because it's leading to celebration. But it's just the daily things that you are trying each day this week to kind of realize what do I need to do here you feel like with the seven of wands i don't though this is a boundary to me or it's like a defensive energy it's actually you having this i want to say stamina or having this strength or uh, this attitude of i'm going to go ahead and protect here my happiness my joy it's like you're standing your ground also with peace with the four of swords because again the four of swords is at the root of this but it's like what it is here that I truly, you know, believe in. What am I standing for? What is mine? My self-respect, my desire, my willpower. How do I protect that? Because it has to do with the Ten of Cups. It has to do with this idealistic, you know, happy type of home. Now, this may be that you feel like you are being attacked for this situation. We will see when we clarify or you have to face the realization that hey if i want this there's something else here that i have to overcome that i have to fight for for this happiness but it's coming after a time of reflection with the four of swords it may be regarding someone you have not speaking with um, someone that you have had a break from the the devil in the past tells me that in, in the past here there's been lust there's been desire there's been um codependencies uh, we will see looking at the whole situation is like you're trying to leave this behind you're trying to look at your thoughts it is like you know i'm ready for to open my heart here or to let love enter uh, there's a potential here and you're looking at that potential when it comes to love maybe you are trying to give a chance to someone because the two of wands is coming towards you as or this is a person that is approaching you that yes i've made a decision you are who i want uh, or that is between these two choices, you clearly can see where the pathway is leading. It's like there's something here again in the past you have had to hold back here or there was codependency. There were certain things that, hey, I have to stay because we know that the devil sometimes energy stays because of certain, um, it's like I feel consumed by material situation, by ambition, by lust, by things that in the end we don't feel good. It's like having even, you know, we're being trying here, okay, don't have that cake because this time, you know, you're going to get something. Even at, as that, I, I can see the devil. Not that I will stop from having the cake, but I'm just saying everybody has their own desires. And um, with the devil in the past, it's just staying in that situation of, okay, maybe of codependency, luxury, sometimes also ambition. That's not your case. You're feeling right now that the best thing is just... It's like, I'm going to put boundaries to this situation. I'm not going to let this hold me back. I want love. I want happiness. I want an opportunity towards love. And I want to make the right choice here. Maybe you are the person that is coming in. Why? Because again, you are very emotional. 
Um, and when I say emotionally, in a good sense, the page of cups is how you want to act out. You want to trust your feelings. You want to open up. You just want to be free here with your uh, expression. And again, because you feel like this is about love. I Again, if there was ambition, if it, if it was about money, if it was about unhealthy things, you're not thinking that. You're thinking just about listening to your gut feeling, expressing your feelings. External to you, you don't see this, but also someone is coming in very much with this Knight of Pentacles, more methodical. It's like, I'm going to take steps here. I'm thinking about our pathway. It may be financially here. It may be an earth sign, but someone that is now sure of the pathway they want to take towards you. You're hoping for some type of clarity and communication with the Ace of Swords. You're hoping that whatever this, I'm standing my ground, I'm fighting for my happiness. It's uh, it's going to give you peace and clarity. And you are going to get reconciliation. You are going to get good news. If you've been waiting for communication, that with the Three of Cups is coming in, guys. So it's very beautiful. Again, I, I feel like with this too, you're fighting this energy. You're fighting what, you know, has been kind of a retreat feeling stuck. I will repeat that because I know that sometimes when someone sees the devil, they, they always think of the worst. But to me, looking at the whole is that you put in boundaries of what needs to be healthy for you. Okay. Healthy boundaries. Okay. Let's see. What is the Seven of Wands for Leo, please? One more. We have, regarding a new beginning, a risk. It's like you're standing there waiting. Uh, I don't feel like you, are, you want to take a risk. If you're going to take a risk, it's going to be something that you truly believe that is... You know, it honors your, your boundaries or respect here. But to me, it's like I'm not going to move uh, in this situation. That's, it is about taking this big forward step, but I feel like you... I don't feel like you are taking that. Or if someone is coming towards you, they have, like, you know, to pass your... You know, to overcome the challenges that you have put forth. What is the Ten of Cups, please? Some of you may be dealing with uh, an earth sign or it has to be about a personality here that is very stable, very grounded. I need commitment. I need stability. That's what you have to face. Um, also, this King of Pentacles feels like someone to me that you can have a home with. If this is you, you want the stability. If you are the king of pentacles, I want stability. This may be the person you are attracted to. Let's see. What is the ten of cups and the king of pentacles? One more. Yeah, justice. I keep getting that everything has to be fair, has to be balanced. Consequences, um, of course, we're dealing with the justice. But to me is, if I want this happily ever after stability i need again to, to to really stay true to when it comes here to what's right what's wrong what feels uh, like destiny justice being here with the king of pentacles and ten of cups everything is divinely orchestrated or has to be balanced has to be fair all right so let's see what is the four of swords the Eight of Cups wanted to come out here, so there's been emotionally withdrawn. There's been no talking, just, you know, silence. What is the Four of Swords, please? One more. Yeah, there's, there's not been action here. I don't know why I felt like... Yeah, the Seven of Wands. You and someone um, that you are very attracted to have not had any communication or there's been blockages to your communication, distance and barriers. You have been thinking about the actions. Um, there's been inconsistency here. That's why, again, you are having that, I'm standing my ground. I'm fighting here for what I believe. It's mine or when it comes to my success, when it comes to my recognition. 
there's a lot of pride involved but this is happening because there's silence here reflection when it comes to to this pathway to this action if you have been taking a break or trying to reflect before you act what is the devil please let's see why is the devil in the past recent past One more okay so in the past the choice was not made i was worried about this to me it's an obsessive codependent or you know i'm stuck i cannot make a choice because remember the two of ones is coming now that i can make a choice because things are not anymore as indulgent codependent the lovers here are of course trapped in this situation so in the past that was not the choice the pathway maybe someone chose the pathway that felt you know provided something that did not have to have, have with love maybe material wealth maybe you know other situation that choice the wrong choice in the past looks like right now it's being driven by pure uh, love by the heart just opening up it's, it, it's interesting that he's saying that's what the devil is that um an unhealthy or codependent choice that now feels free so why you have the ace of cups when it comes to your thoughts one more man you feel so accomplished look at that the six of wands uh, you feel like once you open up or let you know this new beginning here that is coming towards you emotions opportunities is going to lead to success to recognition both of these are very much to me successful um, cards accomplished it's like someone feels on top of the world there or I've accomplished this because you know it came from the heart the opportunity is leading to someone if you're dealing with a person long distance of course um you, you're looking at getting that recognition but you're you're thinking purely you know very well that the best thing is is just to be guided by this opportunity towards love and it's going to lead to recognition success accomplishment that's what you think is going to be the pathway to success you also are hoping that um you are successful to me you are accomplished with a six of wands All right, so what is the two of wands, please? Tell me about the two of wands. One more. It's the knight of pentacles. I love this because, again, though the knight of pentacles is not the most, you know, especially when it comes to the knight of wands, quick, swift, or, you know, I act and I think later. This is, I know this pathway, I've chosen this pathway, and this is, again, it's not let's right away here you know hit it and chemistry and it, i'm not saying that there's no chemistry it's just that it's very well thought out approach i've chosen this because i feel like this is safe but also this is the one that i can see the choice long term there's consistency now in the choice there is a pathway that needs also a lot of planning a lot of getting to know one another not acting quickly without you know feeling like okay maybe right now we have this last or this chemistry or desire but what happens here you know a year from now two years from now that's the choice that is coming and again it's your person external to you if you have made your choice towards this person you know that this is the best choice especially if you've been between you know do i act quickly and think later or do i think about it it's a consistent choice that brings longevity here and again, does not mean that there's not love. There is love, but the pathway, how it's going to be chosen, is more careful, more mature um, type of energy. Okay, the Empress wanted to come out here. You, again, your best behavior, I should say, or how you are going to look at this thing, what is influencing you, is to be pure, to open up. Page of Cups towards Empress, towards someone that you feel attracted, you feel connected to. There's growth here. What is the Page of Cups, please? One more. You have been worried, man. You have been worried. 
thinking of opening up, wanting to, to trust your intuition. You're opening up. Whatever you have worried before, you're thinking the best thing is to listen to your feelings. Because I feel like with... Um, yeah, there's been a lot of conflict when it comes to your intuition. You're learning to trust that intuition, Leo. There's growth. There's an opportunity to open up. What is this Knight of Pentacles externally? One more. The Three of Wands. This is the person that has been waiting, expecting, waiting for you to take. Are you the one that are going to take actions or are they? You know, it depends here. But to me, it's finally actions are being taken, uh, you know, here by this person externally to you. They also may look at you. You've, you might feel like acting like, wow, what is this person thinking about me? How are they doing if it is a specific person? They are uh, feeling that you are anticipating, expecting and waiting to, to, to make the best choice. But this is what externally is happening, guys. I'm going to take action uh, for something that I've been anticipating. Is because I feel like with the two of ones, the intentions are already set. You are here trusting your gut feeling here, your heart, expressing this. And then he's saying externally the, they are the, the, the wheels are in motion. And finally, you know, there's, there's a starting point. I don't feel like it's going to be quick with the Knight of Pentacles, but it's like, okay, I can know now that steps are being taken. Forward steps are being taken for something that has been waited, anticipated. What is um, the Ace of Swords in your hopes and fears? One more. The Seven of Pentacles. You have waited and you want clarity. Okay, how much longer? are we still going to wait are this is remember this is the hopes that you have the goals when it comes uh to the seven of wands another seven by the way i'm standing my ground i'm i'm looking at this situation i need clarity i need to deal with justice i need to, to deal here with this happily ever after with consequences waiting for balance but you're hoping that you're going to get some type of answers regarding this investment this waiting period all right, so let's see. What is the Three of Cups, please? Tell me about the Three of Cups, please. One more. Wow. The Three of Cups and Two of Cups. This is beautiful. To me, it's a reconciliation with a person that you have a strong connection with. A union. There's a reunion here, guys. One more. Okay, nine of one. Someone you have really, really been a very guarded, very apprehensive. But I've said it. The nine of ones is my, I'm not a quitter. I'm still here. There is a lot of wounded energy with this person. It's someone that has gone through a lot. But still, I'm standing strong. I've not given up. This is you and someone here that want to be together, have gone maybe through a lot, have never given up on each other. Now it's like time. To, to get together this that's the best possible outcome regarding this i'm standing my ground because as i mentioned you are very adamant to make a point here what it is that you want the seven of wands is protect protecting here the six of wands this accomplishment respect um you know success when it comes to this love that's what you feel like you have to protect and the challenge is going to be okay this beautiful happily ever after that comes with balance consequences with uh, a person that needs to know here to be stable committed materially or wealthy here is very important important to the king of pentacles so the pathway is like i need consistency i need also to understand that we are uh you know soul to soul here we are understanding each other we never given up there is a protective energy between the two of you but to me i i don't know why i love the nine of wands so much because i feel always um that warrior that never gave up when it comes to love and also you know has gone through a lot is aware it's like there's a maturity to the nine of wands after all that hey i've been down this road before and i know what i need to do but in the end passion is what's talking here with the nine of wands i really hope this resonates with you guys as usual in the extended we will see what's going on with your love life thank you Bye bye